The only question that still remains is why the surge in restaurant and store closures has been so significant since 2020. Tonight, Officer Stoles will be reappointed as chief of the Carnarvon Police Department. Among his plans for the station, he hopes to add additional officers onto the force. Changes to the Allentown School District are underway as the current superintendent, Thomas Parker's last day will be this Friday. The new interim will begin next week, but the biggest question posed is when this permanent position will be filled. Here at Coca-Cola Park, we're getting ready for the Iron Pigs opening game day. It's been over 600 days since fans have been in the stadium, but at 7 o'clock tonight, they'll take on the Rochester Red Wings. So Kellen, tell me a little bit of the process you go through when you're preparing for races like this today. So I'd say most of the preparation comes in the weeks and days leading up to the race. As tensions continue to rise between Israel and the Palestinians, we're getting a first-hand look at how this is affecting people nationwide. Community members here in Allentown, Pennsylvania have gathered in Center Square to take part in a movement that recognizes what the Palestinians are currently facing during the violent uproar that has swept the state of Palestine. Here behind me, you can see the damage that Hurricane Ida has brought to the South Perkese Covered Bridge. It's still unclear on how much these repairs will cost or when the damage will be fixed. In Perkese, Callista Matrician, 69 News. Here behind me, I've got the exact spot where NASCAR racers are getting their cars prepped and ready for the big event here at Pocono Raceway. Adding to their series of cultural masterpieces, the Allentown Art Museum is welcoming one of their latest installations, Japanese Textiles in the West, a series that features gleaming gold threads, handcrafted designs, bold embroidery, the rich history of Japan's textile traditions, and their connection to Western collectors. Founded by a Pennsylvania resident and impressionist painter himself, William Emerson Baum started his establishment and his collection of art almost a hundred years ago. In 1961, a donation was made to the museum, including a series of 60 Renaissance masterpieces. What drew more attention to the series more recently was the uncovering of a Rembrandt among these pieces. While the work was originally believed to be the work of a student, further cleanings and examinations have shown that the work was completed by the Dutch master himself. Several districts starting tomorrow say they plan to reevaluate their COVID mitigation plans in the coming weeks. In Bethlehem, Callista Matrician, 69 News. By masking everyone, we will avoid having to have large numbers of students quarantine, even if we have a few cases. Bethlehem Area School District Superintendent Dr. Joseph Roy says students and staff will be masking up for at least a few weeks to start the school year. We stand for my body, my choice, my kids, my choice. Everything is a risk. Life is a risk. What are we supposed to do? Sit in our houses and hide for the rest of time? A number of parents voicing their concerns over a mask requirement ahead of Easton School Board vote at a meeting earlier this month. Masks are not harmful to children. The school board ultimately voting in favor of a universal mask requirement for everyone, regardless of vaccination status. We're experiencing, obviously, a global pandemic, and um, children are not only dealing with those normal um, back-to-school anxieties, but in addition, they're dealing with potentially pandemic-related stressors. Centenary University Associate Professor of Sociology, Dr. Tara Veerman says there are ways to identify early signs of stress in students. It can certainly range from, you know, just simple fear of the pandemic, getting sick, um, you know, pot potentially loss of family members, uh, financial stressors within the family. She also tells us in many cases, these stressors will vary depending on age. So young children aren't going to say, I feel stressed, right? They're going to say things like, my belly hurts, um, I have a headache, um, they might want to go to the nurse more often. Dr. Veerman says students in middle or high school will express changes in mood, lack of motivation, and falling behind on their schoolwork. It's a tough position for teachers to be in, and they really need to be educated as to what stress is really going to look like with a particular group of children that they're working with. Looking for ways to make it easier on teachers, many schools in New Jersey are implementing trauma-focused work with an emphasis on mind-body intervention, mindfulness, meditation, and deep breathing. Providing a safe space um, for children to feel validated, I think is going to be um, a key aspect of this moving forward. Callista Matrician, 69 News. Days after the aftermath of Hurricane Ida, a McCunchy neighborhood is still dealing with the effects. To, to get internet, I have to go down to Weiss Market. 
Rhoda Burney describes what life has been like inside the Mountain Village community for the past several days without power. Crews are working around the clock to get power restored in the neighborhood. Without air conditioning, it gets kind of hot in there. David Bursler says it's been difficult, especially with a newborn baby at home. This massive tree just tipped over like it was a matchstick. From flooding and evacuations to trees falling down, effects of Hurricane Ida are being felt around the community. It's an inconvenience, but I can live with inconvenience. Meanwhile, in Montgomery County, three people were killed. In New Jersey, the death toll has risen to 27 people. In Makunji, Calista Matrician.